Good day, Internet, and today I'm going to show you how to model and texture, and maybe in a third or fourth video, how to animate the physics of a pop can. So what I have in front of me here is my finished pop can, and when we get done, we will end up with an animation like this. Alright, so there you have it. That is what we'll be making. To Before we get started, I'll show you what it looks like in Cycles. Just a quick render. So there you have it. It looks pretty good. Alright, so there we have it. That is what it looks like in cycles. Alright, so before we get started, you will need to find a few images off of Google. For the first one, pop can reference image, and we need this sprite can with all the lines in the background. For the second one, we need a reference image like this. Just the top view only. That way we can see all the lines in the top. And for the third one, you don't have to choose Coke, but a Coke texture. Or a, I should say, a type of pop or energy drink texture. And that is what we need before we get started. So, close out all these. I will file open, or oops, file new. Okay. And to just quickly turn on screencast. There we go. And to get started, so I will just drag this out of the way for the moment. I will delete my reference or er, starting cube. And I will change this to a sun. Not that that's majorly important. But, okay. So first we need to add in a background image. And to start, we will just add in the sprite can. So, oh, which one is it? Um, pop can one is what I named mine. And in order to see your background image, you must be in orthographic, not perspective. And I will just turn up the opacity so that it's completely to one. And I will leave the size at five. And if your 3D cursor isn't already in the center, then hit Shift C to move it to the center. And I will start in front view, which is one on your numpad. Now, to get started, Shift A, mesh cylinder and we just want to hit S to scale it up until it's about the same wideness of our reference image. So that'll work pretty good right there. Edge to edge, that's what we're looking for. So now I'm going to go hit Z to go into wireframe mode so I can see through my mesh and I will scale it on the Z axis and I want the top line to be about at this reference line right here in the reference image. And I want the bottom line 
be about it, this one right here. So we need to drag it on the Z, scale it on the Z. So right there's where I want it about. Doesn't have to be perfect, but close is important. And that one's pretty close. If I just adjust it a little bit here. Alright, so it looks like they're both pretty close. So now I'm going to start with top and we'll work on the bottom later. So I'll go back into a solid view, hit tab, go into edit mode. I'm going to hit control tab to go into my selection mode and I want to face. You can also go down here and change it into the different one. This one's vertice edge and face and of course I wanted face so right click and select the top face hit one hit Z and now we want to hit E to extrude and we'll go up one line at a time so about right there and then hit S to scale and just bring it in until the edge lines up and we're going to do that again E, scale, and line up the edge. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we're trying to get pretty close to get a scale model here. And now we are almost to the top, so we'll hit E. And right on this one, we want to go about halfway or until your edge meets up with the lip of the pop can right there. And we just want to scale it a little bit. And then on the last one, we want to hit E and go up the final part of the line here. We don't want to go all the way to the top. We just want the final part. So up to this line. And then, as you can see, it is slightly bigger than the rest of the can. So we're going to hit Alt right click oh, we need to go into edge select here alt right click and shift right click hold on maybe we need vertex mode there we go vertex mode to get the top row of faces selected right here and now we can go back into solid view we want to deselect our top face. If we go, or no, we can't do that. Um, oh, I remember now. Okay, sorry about that. We want to control R right here to add in an edge loop and bring this up nice and close but do not allow it to overlap and now alt select shift right click so we can scale this up one point nope one point one's too big one point zero five no oh, that's too big one point zero two five there we go and that looks pretty good for the lip on our can. So, now we need to make the inside lip, which we can't see, but as I have already seen in other references, we go control tab, select into face, we want this top face selected, and we want to hit E and right click, and then hit scale or S and put in point nine five and hit enter <coughs> and that'll give us this top we're trying to get and then go ahead and hit E and go downwards about that much. If you want a better view you can go about almost three fourths of the way down to your next line to give you that lip. 
in the top of the can. And what we're going to do to give this a nice smooth edge, we're going to go into modifiers and give it a subdivision surface. And we're going to put the render up to 3, and for now, the view up to 3. And as you can see, that kind of flattens out some of our edges. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to hit Control r to add in an edge loop. And we want to add one in right here and bring it down all the way. And that'll give us the flat part in the bottom, but it'll keep our lip nice and smooth and not a hard edge. Alright, so I think that will do it for the top for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in the front view, or hit 1 on your numpad, and we will work on the bottom. So what we're going to do is go into face mode, 1, Z, so you can see, zoom in here, hit E, go down. Oh, we're probably going to have to go down half on this one, so about half. Scale it until it lines up. Pretty close, it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. And then I'm going to bring mine up just a little bit more. And then scale it. Alright, and then E, and go the rest of the way. Scale. And then we will go probably half again to E scale and then one more time we'll go E and then scale just a tiny bit like so and now as you know there is a lip in the bottom of the can too so we're going to use a similar method to get the inner lips. We're going to hit E, right click, and scale 0.95. And then we're going to hit E and drop it in about the length of one of these. So if we go into our front view, hit Z, it'll be about lined up with the next line. Alright, and now if we turn on our subdivision surface, as you can see, it is kind of wavy in here, but just about right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in another edge loop by hitting Control r and bringing it down most of the way. It's about right there. And that will give us a nice look to our pop can on the bottom. And there you go. That is what we will be doing for this tutorial, and I will cover the top of the pop can in the second tutorial, and probably texturing in the third, and if I get around to it, the animation in third, possibly fourth.